Growing up, you were probably taught to work hard, right? To delay gratification. Or there's even a phrase called to eat the frog. What does that mean? That means the first thing in the day, you do the unpleasant, hard thing. Swallow the frog first, the big giant frog. And then you can go on the rest of your day to do the less unpleasant things. But this all assumes that work is supposed to be unpleasant. That work is supposed to be struggle and strife and, and suffering. And I want to offer you a reminder of a different way. What if all of your work can be done with joy? And this is something that I've been practicing for years, and it really has made a profound difference in my business and in my own personal growth. And the idea is a shift in focus. It's a shift in focus from the quality of the result, right? Oh, I got to make a great video. I've got to write a great blog post. I've got to create a great product. It's a shift from the quality of the, the end result to the quality of the process at hand. So, for example, I'm making this video right now. I can think, gosh, I hope this video is a great video. I hope you know, this really helps people. I hope that it goes viral or whatever thoughts I can have about what a great video is supposed to do, right? It's supposed to be like, right? I hope that I'm attractive. I hope that, you know, the, my message gets across. That's the, that's the focus on the quality of the result. I could do it that way. And doing it that way means I would have to feel like I'm performing. I would feel anxious that I might miss the mark or that I might fail. And I can then, but if I catch myself doing that, whenever I do catch myself with that, I shift my focus over to the other side, which is focusing on the quality of the process. So, am I bringing heart and joy into this moment? That's really what I care about when I catch myself and remember to do this. Am I bringing heart and joy into this moment? Because if I do that, then my whole day is filled with heart and joy and my whole day is fulfilling rather than worrying about did I do a good job on the content or the product or meeting with the client or do, sending that email or writing that web page. Did I do it? No. I'm focused on, oh, did I bring my heart and my joy into, into this work? That's it. Now, I do this because I have trust. I have a big trust that my life is guided and always protected by a higher power. Now, I don't know what you believe. Some of us believe in a God or in angels, spirit guides, etc. Some of us don't believe in all of the, any of it. But even if you don't believe in it, you can still believe in your higher self. You have a part of your brain, you have a part of your psyche that is wiser than other parts. And that part of the psyche is always trying to help you, right? Always guiding you along. So regardless of what you think your eternal source is, we can trust that that eternal source of guidance will make sure that our life is going to be okay. That through the ups and downs, we will somehow still achieve our calling. Remember that. And by having that trust, you can then hopefully relax about the end results and focus every day and every hour on the quality of the moment, your presence in the act of whatever you are doing. So I, I hope that throughout the rest of today, you can bring that heart and joy or, or choose the words that are meaningful for you. Maybe it's mindfulness. Maybe it's truth and love. Maybe it's wisdom and grace or whatever it is. Bring the, the words that mean something to you right now. Maybe it's lightheartedness. Maybe it's compassion. Bring those words into every moment of your work. And let the results take care of themselves. And you might quite be quite surprised 
that oftentimes the results are actually even better. But we don't even think about that. We forget ourselves in the moment of bringing our presence. We forget the high standards. We forget any standards for the end result. That's the aim anyway, to forget all that and just lose ourselves in the moment of bringing our presence to the task at hand. So I hope this, well, I don't know if it's helpful, but that's the thing. I, I'm not even here to help you. See, I'm not, I'm not here to make a great video. I'm not here to help you. Those would be wonderful, blessed outcomes. But I'm here to bring joy and heart to this moment. And if it has helpful results, then wonderful. I'm even more blessed. But I can be blessed regardless. So anyway, I wish you a truly fulfilling day ahead and the next day and the next day. Take care.